Okay, so, story time. I was in the local grocery store just a little bit ago, and one, it is way too early to be out. I did not get any sleep last night because my brain will not allow me to shut it off. So I got up at way too early, and as soon as the store was open, I went to go run errands, okay? That's why I'm even awake right now, because I would not normally be. And I am on the pet food aisle. There's almost no one in the store. I'm looking, I'm looking at all the brands of pet food, way too tired to try to pick out what I'm looking for. And this random guy uh, walks at the end of the aisle. He's like, hey, hey, sir. And he's pointing. So I turn and look. And he's pointing behind me down the aisle. And he's like, hey, you dropped in your pocket. And I was like, I dropped something out of my pocket. So I turn to look. I don't see anything on the ground. I turn and I look back at him. And also, I checked and I thought maybe this guy works here. He doesn't. He doesn't have an employee shirt on. He's just some random Joe off the street. And he kind of laughs and he says it again. But I don't understand what he's saying. His words don't make sense to me. And so I just say, what? <laughs> and I just tell him, I'm like, I can't understand what you're saying. So he gets closer. But not like I'm a stranger distance closer. He gets right next to me. Like... My buggy is here. He is here. Like, he's shopping with me. And he says, hey, you dropped your pocket. And I just stare at him. And he's pointing behind me. And I just, I don't look. I just continue to stare at him because I'm so confused. And he's just kind of smiling in this weird way. And he kind of points down at, like, at my pants pocket. And he goes, yeah, it's not there anymore. And then at that point, I realize he's trying to make a joke. He's trying to make a ha-ha funny. But he's a complete stranger. It is 7 a.m. And it's not funny. So I just stare without blinking. And I just wait a good 20, 30 seconds. And he's just still standing there grinning like he said the most brilliant thing in the world. And I just turn to look at him and I say, it is too early in the morning for this. And then he just goes, yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, I'm a loner. And he starts, as he's walking away, tell me about why he's all alone. And then he just continues talking to himself as he goes around the corner. And about 30 minutes later, my brain thought up the comeback. Well, maybe you're a loner because you come up to random strangers and make really bad jokes.